Hello everybody. So, let us uh, again continue with the previous session concepts what we were discussing with the Unix programming subject. So, here actually we are discussing with the module 2 with the last chapter that is essential shell programming. So, in this chapter in the last session actually we had discussed with a few of the concepts uh, that is uh, starting from how to what actually this uh, shell programming is and how we are going to interpret the shell commands in the shell script and uh, followed by next uh, how you are going to interact with the user by providing the input from the user end for the shell script and also uh, what actually the shell script is and uh, followed by next we discussed with what command line argument okay so in that command line argument we had discussed with what a positional parameters concept so in the previous session as i said uh, we had actually come across with a simple shell script how it is going to be executed so a simple shell script what actually it consists of so in the usually normal c program and all we'll be having a logical content which will be like a scan a function print a function will be taken followed by an operation which includes a logical statements and uh, any logical statements uh, with the constructs also it will be included so all these will be enclosed within the main function and with a header file in in the initial beginning of the line but here in the shell script the each and every statement what you are going to write within the shell script is all about with the commands so it consists of a set of commands or a collection of commands and the beginning line of the shell always it will be have what the interpreter line so that interpreter line what actually it says so whatever the commands you are trying to execute within the shell script so all those commands should be executed under that interpreter line that is that interpreter line will get you the command that is completely in a uh, directory path where actually all this set of commands has to get executed so that interpreter line is nothing but ash not equal to symbol with the user slash bin slash the shell uh, representative the shell representative here it might be bash con bon or uh, c shell or tch shell okay so these are the content what uh, what is there within the shell script so followed by a simple shell script i had uh, had shown how it will be executed uh, with uh, using a read command so read is the one of the command which is basically used for what reading the input from the user next we discussed with the positional parameters that is command line argument so in that command line argument we had discussed with this positional parameters so what actually all these positional parameter represent so dollar one dollar two all these represent a positional parameter which means that uh, whatever the command uh, that is during the execution of a command so the arguments what you are going to provide for the execution of that particular shell script in the command line okay so that argument will be placed under this arguments will be placed under this uh, the command execution arguments will be replaced with dollar one dollar two so the it will provided within this dollar one positional parameter dollar two like that so let me consider one simple execution of command so if i am executing emp dot sh file okay so this is one of the shell script and as we know that even in the previous session i had explained how to how we are going to write a shell script so shell script program can be written in any of the editor within the unix operating system so like vi editor g editor pluma editor like that so and all the files should be saved under the extension dot sh so here i am trying to have a emp dot sh that is employee sh uh, shell script so here if i give the argument any it might be any argument so if i have given the argument as what the file uh, file argument which has to get executed with the name like arun or with one more argument like manager like this okay so these two parameters as arguments will be stored with the positional parameters dollar 1 and dollar 2 so this will be having dollar 1 and this will be replaced with what dollar 2 so that is what this positional parameter dollar 1 and dollar 2 represent then what is this dollar ash represent so this is going to let you the set of parameters so how many set of parameters or the arguments you have provided so the arguments i have provided here is two so that set count will be specified next dollar zero what does this do so dollar zero will always have the command line name itself so the command line here the name of the command line is what emp dot sh so all your uh, script files within the shell program will be executed with the command uh, the file name what you have given okay next dollar 
star. So, this is going to let you the what, uh, the arguments name. So, what uh, what and all the arguments you have provided. So, the argument name here I have provided with Arun and manager. So, that will be displayed by using this dollar star. Next dollar at symbol actually this is going to let you what each quoted string treated as a separate argument. So, whatever the argument you have provided so that will be stored under this dollar at symbol. So, this will show you the exit status of what the param uh, what are the exit status of the command that is dollar question mark ok. Next dollar dollar and dollar not equal to will always get you the PID number of what the program command. So, PID number of that is process ID of the current shell and the background job. So, this will get you with the background job. P PID number of the background job and this is the current shell PID number ok. So, this is what we had discussed in the previous uh, session. So, in the next uh, the next topic within this is what that is exit and exit status of a command. So, as we know that uh, each and every program either it might be a C program or in the shell script always it has to get terminated. So, that termination of that particular program or the execution of that pro, uh, command or a program can be done by using the command itself within the Unix is exit and in the C, C programming we are going to use what exit function. So, in the shell we are going to use what exit ok or this exit ok. This is in Unix ok. In C we are going to use the exit function like this right. So, now let us in this will be concentrated more in the coming uh, uh, what sessions, but actually in your syllabus we do have only the exit that is with respect to the Unix, but we do not have what with us C. So, here if I consider this exit with respect to what Unix uh, operating system for execution of any command sorry execution of any of the script that is the shell script the termination will be provided the exit status by using this exit status. So, if the exit of 0 if it is provided means uh, after the execution of a program then everything is fine that is the execution of that particular program termination has been ended successfully without any uh, error or the failure. Whereas, if a non-zero value has been provided with any of the exit means then something has went wrong. So, it is providing with a value of non-zero value that is exit 1. So, now if I provide this execute let me consider this one simple example here. So, example dollar cat foo. So, what actually it has been displayed. So, if the foo file is already there within the directory means it, is, it would have displayed me with what the content of it of the foo because cat, con cat command is basically used for what for viewing the files of that file as well as for creating a file using a redirection operator symbol right. That here we are using for uh, cat command is used for what viewing the file, but it is displaying an error message saying that cannot open the foo file which means that it has written with an exit status of non-zero value. So, if the exit status of the command is non-zero value means or any failure has been occurred then uh, the command has uh, not ended with the successfully it has not been ended, but it uh, something has went wrong. Likewise, so what is the reason why it has went wrong? So, here the foo file itself is not there it is not existing or foo file is missing in that directory. So, this is what the reason why it is showing this. Uh, error message which uh, it, this is always returned with what exit status of 1. So, automatically this will be returned. So, it will not be uh, what explicitly shown on the terminal instead uh, exit status will be returned to the shell prompt. So, if it is 0 means obviously it the command execution has successfully went fine. So, next uh, uh, within this parameter is what dollar question mark. So, if I if I want to know the exit status of the command execution means so that will be stored within the parameter that is positional parameter dollar question mark. So, this is what dollar question mark does. So, the dollar question mark parameter that is uh, positional parameter. So, this is going to store the exit status of the command execution. So, whatever the command execution you have done. So, that will be stored within this dollar question mark or within that positional parameter. So, as also only I have written here it stores the exit status of what last command. 
next last command executed so next so it is going to have the values of uh, two values uh, those values are zero if the command is succeeded or the command execution is successful and one or uh, any other non zero value means if it has occur with the failure and followed by if no exit status has been provided within the program or within the shell script means then always the dollar parameter that is this positional parameter dollar question mark will be set to what zero so that is what this uh, parameter represent that is question mark dollar question mark okay so dollar question mark parameter positional parameter which is going to store the exit status of the last command which has been executed okay so it uh, represent with the two values zero and a non zero value zero means if the command is success successfully succeeded the execution and uh, zero, if a non zero value either one two or any value means uh, it has been failed and uh, if no exit status has been specified for a shell program means always dollar question mark or the exit status of that will be st uh, what stored with the value of zero so let me uh, show you with one simple example of how this is going to work and tell me the status of the exit status of that particular uh, what exit status of by using this dollar question mark so let me consider one simple execution command for this and no so value of zero if it uh, if it succeeds or if it fails means a non zero value so let me check out here so grep so grep command is used for what so grep command is used for searching for a pattern within the existing file what you have given so here i have given the pattern as what director with the emp.txt file so in the emp.txt file the pattern director is there with the line of this so of course it is going to get executed because that is there then i am redirecting the output of this command that is grep command to what device slash null so what is this file or this particular directory path represent here so this is one of the special file in the unix system file system in which it is going to whatever the content you have redirected to this particular directory path always it is going to ignore the output what you have uh, redirected to that directory path and always the file size will be showed as what zero okay so that is what the uh, what a uh, specification of this device slash null directory path so this is one of the special file within the unix file system in which it is going to store uh, what a non zero the sorry a zero byte file size within it whatever the content you have redirected to that particular directory path so it is going to ignore the output what you have sent to it output file size byte will be ignored and always it will show me what zero so if the command has been executed successfully so you are echoing the statement echoing what dollar question mark that is positional parameter so this is going to echo what is the value so if the value is zero means the command has been successfully executed so obviously it will show me what zero which means that it is success likewise if i have given grep followed by <coughs> arvind emp dot txt redirect the same to what the special file and echo dollar question mark so what actually this is going to do so this it is going to search the pattern arvind within the file emp dot txt file so within the file emp dot txt file arvind pattern is not there right so this pattern is not provided so Uh, again the content output is not going to execute obviously it is not going to redirect anything but i do have one more command which is been executing here so that command is what echo dollar question mark so this echo dollar question mark what it does is it is going to store the exit status so here the exit status of this command since it has been failed so a non zero value will be displayed that is 1 likewise if i have given if i have given grep okay followed by like this if i have given means echo dollar question mark so what actually this is going to display so again it is going to search for arun raj in the file emp.txt so that name is not there within the emp.txt so obviously the it is going to fail and the value will be what 2 so this is also failed so this is how the positional parameter 
uh, dollar question mark works in the Unix system. So it is going to store the exit status of the last executed command. Okay, so the last executed command here is what dollar question mark. So what is the status of that uh, which is has to get executed here? The last executed command here executed is grep. So this grep command value it is unsuccessful. So it stores the value of non-zero. Here also it is unsuc unsuccessful. It is going to store the value of non-zero. Here it is success. So it stores the value of zero. So this is about what. Uh, the parameter dollar question mark. So, the next concept within this here is after this the logical operators. So, logical operators and R for the logical operators. And percent and R pipeline. So this logical operator and and R as we know that. So here in the Unix we do have a syntax. So within this it is going to provide with two conditional execution that allow the conditional execution uh, with this two logical operators. So those two logical operators are and and R. So if so this two are going to work with what? like if the command 1 okay so if the command 1 and command 2 likewise command 1 with the pipeline command 2 so how it is going to execute with and and or here so in the and operator logical and operator if the command 1 that is the command command 1 if it is succeeded then only it executes what command 2 so, if this command execution is ok, that is if it is succeeded, then only it executes what command 2 with the logical operator ampersand ampersand. Likewise, with the logical or operator, if this command 1 fails, then only it executes command 2, right. So, it is the reverse of this logical and. So, if this is going to be failed means, so this is going, sorry, command 1 is going to fail means command 2 gets executed. But here, if the command 1 is executed, then only it executes what? Command 2. So, that is what uh, logical and and logical or operator within the uh, Unix system works. So, let me consider one simple example and show you how this command has been executed by using this logical and and logical or operator. Okay. So, let me consider for the same uh, emp.txt file okay, with the grep command. So, grep director emp.txt uh, file right. So, emp.txt file with the logical. So, this is entire, this entire is one command. So, th this is command 1. Next, echo, okay. So, you have to in the other side also you have to give what? One more command. So, I am giving the echo command pattern pattern found. So, this has to get executed here. So, how it is going to execute? So, if this command 1, so this is one more command 2. So, I am using the logical and operator here. So, here if this command 1 is successfully executed, then only it prints what pattern found message here. If not, it is not, it is going to return what a non-zero value. So, here grep director pattern is there right. So, within these two line directory pa directory pattern is there. So, it is going to search for those two pattern in the file emp.txt. So, directory director pattern within this is present right and since it is going to execute successfully then message will be printed using the echo command pattern found. So, this is how logical and operates. So, if the same case in the same case logical or how does it work? grep let me take it as uh, the name which is not there arvind with emp.txt file okay then our operator i am using here okay 
So, here it should what execute let me take it as echo echo pattern not found in emp dot text file. So, this is how it works. Okay. So, if this a command fail execution of the grep, if the command execution of the grep Arvind pattern is going to search in the file emp.txt. So, in the emp.txt file I do not have what Arvind name or that particular pattern name is not provided here. So, it is going to unsuccessfully it is going to return the exit status of what a non-zero value. So, so, it is not going to execute the program or what this command will not get executed because that pattern itself is not there in the file emp.txt. So, this is not going to get executed instead the next command echo pattern not found in emp.txt file will that message will get printed. So, this is how logical AND and logical OR operator works in the Unix operating system. So, AND if command 1 gets executed then only command 2 gets printed or it will get executed. Whereas, here reverse of this if the command 1 its fail means then only it is going to execute what command so, next is here within this one of the conditional uh, construct within this program uh, or within this uh, chapter is what if conditional construct. So, as I in the beginning of this uh, session as I said that uh, we are going to understand with the different control constructs right. So, in that one of the control construct is what if here. So, if conditional construct. Okay, so, in this we do have uh, what the same syntax, uh, syntax is little bit different, but the concept uh, of understanding with respect to what Unix is same as that of what C. So, if what it has been used, so it is going to use for decision making statements, right. So, if one condition has been uh, whatever the condition we have provided within that condition construct. So, if that has been uh, uh, executed or if it is successful means the statement first statement will get executed, if not else statement will get executed right. If not we do have uh, one form of uh, using this if as if else statement as in your C here also we do have the other form of using this as simple if statement or if construct. So, if the condition get executed the statement get executes whatever the statement have given below that condition if not it will execute the next line what we have given. So, this is one simple if form likewise followed by we do have what um, if else statement okay else if uh, statement. So, that else if statement again uh, again in C also we had understood about this. So, this else if statement is also uh, one of the form of using within this Unix system programming. So, let me write all those uh, syntax of this if conditional statement here. So, if so this is for one of the form if command if followed by next you have to give command then if the command is successful. So, whatever the command have given within this if construct then execute then execute what the commands what you have given here else execute commands which you have given in the else statement and always the ending of this else uh, if statement should be with reverse of the if two letters that is the reverse of this string if should be provided that is f i. So, if you have started with f uh, if i f then it should what end with the condition should get end with f i. So, this is one form of using the command that is if construct in the unix likewise we do have one more form. So, this is form 1 Okay, sorry this is form 1 this is form 1 next if command is successful then execute command or commands command or 
commands than end if. So, this is one more form of using the if statement this is form 2 ok. Likewise, we do have if command is successful ok then execute commands ok else if command is successful execute commands likewise else if close the if ok. So, this is another form of using what the if construct in the unix. So, these are the three forms of using what if construct. So, these are the three forms of using the if construct. So, in the first form simple if then else, in the second form simple if statement and in the last form else if ladder that is else if statement can be used even in the unix file uh, sorry unix system sorry unix shell programming ok. So, in the unix shell programming these are the three ways or three forms of using the if construct. So, let me write one simple example of how to execute this simple if then else uh, statement by using one of the form ok. So, this is one simple example of uh, what showing the if else statement here. So, let me consider uh, file name I have given it as what emp 2 a dot sh. So, the sh is the uh, extension which ha you have to provide for any of the shell script uh, when you are going to create it. Okay. So, here the shell script uh, emp 2 a dot sh file. So, within that the first line as I said always the first line in the script should be the interpreter line. So, the interpreter line is what ash not equal to bin. So, under this uh, directory path all these commands will get executed here. So, what actually I have given here the first uh, if condition statement in the, uh, within the program is grep dollar one emp dot txt. So, what is this dollar one? So, as I said uh, while execution of the command of this program for the looking getting the output of this command I have to execute the command what? So, for the getting the output of this the execution command is what? The file name itself that is emp 2 a dot sh. So, this is the execution command for executing the program emp 2 a dot sh. So, what actually I am trying to do here is I am trying to find a pattern from the file. So, if the file if the pattern is been found means so the echo command will get executed if the pattern does not found means the else statement will get executed here. So, here I have to provide a pattern right. So, which pattern I have to search from the file emp dot txt. So, here the file uh, from the file emp dot txt I am trying to search for the pattern that is sale sales ok. So, this sales will get stored in one of the positional parameter that is dollar one. So, that is what so in the command line argument so what so this we call it as what command line argument ok. So, this command line argument uh, it is this command is going to accept one of the argument that is sale here. So, that argument will be stored in what the positional parameter dollar one. So, in that so only here I have given it as what dollar one. So, once that argument has been stored in that so whatever the argument I have given so that will be stored with dollar one. So, this is going to search this uh, parameter what I have considered will be searched in the file emp.txt and that will get redirected to what device slash null here. So, device slash null is one of the special uh, file in which whatever the content you are going to try to uh, redirect to that particular directory path or to that particular file. So, it is going to store a non-zero uh, sorry it is going to store with the block of zero size byte ok. So, and it is going to ignore the content of the output what it is having and always it will show me the uh, size as what file size is 0 itself. So, since here sales argument what I have given in the execution command line argument it is there in the file emp.txt file. So, it will execute the then statement then echo com then uh, command statement will get executed. So, the command statement in the then is what after if then is after executing this command if it is successful means then 
the statement get executed that is pattern found job over it will get printed like this pattern found job over so next time if i give one more uh, argument uh, next time what i am trying to execute the same program with different parameter okay so let me take it as aparna so here i have given the name as what aparna it is going to check within the emp.txt file so it will not there since here that aparna name parameter is not present in the file emp.txt file so it is going to execute the else command statement the else command statement here is what echo command pattern not found so here it will display me with what pattern not found okay so this is how the in, uh, if conditional construct as work as a working of this within the unix system sorry unix shell programming so this is how a simple shell script for execution of what simple if statement or simple if construct so here we have taken for what if and else okay so this is about the if construct statement so next is what we do have two more uh, that is uh, expression within this so if the condition placed within the command line of if so whatever the condition i have uh, placed here so this condition so whatever the condition have placed within this if command so if i want to refer so if these statements are referred as what control command so whatever the condition i have placed within this if construct so we call it as what control command so if i want to evaluate the expression of this if state if condition means i do have uh, one of the uh, expression operator which has been used so in that one is what test operator and one more is what this one so both are used for what evaluating the condition expression which has been provided within the if construct so if i want to evaluate that exp condition expression what have given within the if condition or if if command condition construct means so then i am going to use these two evaluation expression or the operator one is the test and the other one is with a square bracket okay so here these two evaluates the if condition statement so uh, here uh, this test has three categories or this test operator expression is going to be evaluated in three ways so one is for checking testing the number and the other one is for testing the string and the last one is for checking the file attributes okay so for testing or verifying the file attributes so these are the three ways of using this test operator in the if condition okay so let me consider first one that is test operator here how this is going to work so as i have uh, as i have specified that test and uh, this symbol square bracket symbol is used for what to evaluate the expression within the conditional construct so one of the conditional construct is what if condition so there are three ways of working this test uh, operator one is for comparing the two numbers next is for comparing two strings or a null a null string itself next is for checking for the file attributes so this test operator what it does is so it is going to execute uh, the condition expression or, or the evaluation expression what have given so always it, it is either it returns true or false so these are the two values which will be written by using these operators so let me consider with the first one that is numeric that is two numbers so how you are going to check the numeric comparison here so numeric comparison uh, as we know that even in c program also we are going to compare the number by using few of the operators like relation operators greater than symbol less than symbol equal to symbol then what uh, one more is less than or equal to greater than or equal to so you are also in the unix we do have that Uh, operators which can be used but those operators are used with what a string value but there we are going to use the symbol itself right like greater than less than in c so in c we are going to use the operators like this less than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to equal to like this but here in the unix we are going to use the string values so what which is going to begin with an hyphen followed by eq equal to any represent not equal to gt represent greater than g represent greater than or equal to lt represent less than le represent what less than or equal to so let me take one simple expression of showing how these operator works 
okay so first let me consider uh, that is of variables like do, uh, dollar x x variable y variable okay and one more variable with z okay so i have to consider th these three values okay so test test dollar x is equal to dollar y so you are testing now what whether the x variable is equal to the y variable if so echo what echo the conditions uh, whatever the statement exit status it is going to return so i am going to returning the exit status of the command execution test so whether dollar x is equal to dollar y and always while uh, using this operator equal to operator in the unix so you have to provide a space before the x string and after the string eq okay so here a space has to be provided before and after this eq operator that is equal numeric operator so here x is not equal to y so what is the status of this command it is going to display a non zero value with 1 okay likewise next dollar test dollar x is greater than dollar y no no right so again it is going to return the non zero value of an exit status likewise next dollar test is less than dollar y that is x variable is less than sorry i have to use it as what with the string right so hyphen gt greater than dollar y is it so no so test dollar x is greater than dollar y no it returns a non zero value exit zero value as what 2 likewise now it is going to check out with lt okay so is dollar uh, x variable is less than y variable yes so the exit status of this will be written as what 0 because it is less than 5 is less than 7 here 5 is greater than 7 no here 5 is equal to 7 no so these two returns with non zero values whereas this returns with a zero value that is a zero value itself which means it is answer is correct likewise next dollar test okay z is greater than dollar y x z variable is greater than y variable yes so z variable is having the value of 10 whereas y variable is having the value of 7 so 10 is greater than 7 yes again it returns what with the value of 0 so this is how the test operator is been used for evaluating any expression within the unix so here we have considered the expression for the test command and the exit status of that particular test command has been shown by using a positional parameter dollar question mark so let me write one simple example of using all the, that is the test operator with the if construct so if followed by test okay so i am giving what dollar ash is equal to is equal to what with the zero so i have given the expression for the if condition as what test dollar ash what does this dollar ash represent the number of count uh, within the command line argument that is argument count what i have given in the command line during the execution so that count will get stored here so here i'm trying to what execute this so then echo value is equal to 0 it this should get executed okay so this is the statement it should get executed here else else if test again check with the other one okay dollar ash is less than 
0 ok then echo value is less than 0 ok print this ok again else echo value is not found end this if statement. So, how to execute and know what is the output of this command or command uh, this shell script here. So, let me show you the execution command of this and tell, uh, told, uh, tell you the execution command how does it work here. So, here for the execution of this program pg.sh. So, I have to give the same file name as a command line execution. So, pg.sh. So, argument what are, how many arguments I am going to provide? Let me take it as 4 and 5. So, here I have considered 2 arguments with the numeric value of 4 and 5. So, it is going to count these 2 arguments values. So, the, these 2 arguments values what? 4 and 5. So, argument numbers are 2. So, here dollar hash represent what? The list of or the set of arguments what I have given in the command line. So, in the command line I have given 2 arguments. So, that 2 will be there. So, 2 is equal to 0. No, so this is going to get execute uh, does not execute, it is going to check with the next one, 2 is less than 0, again no, so value is not found. So, this is what you will get. So, if I just change this value okay, with 1, 2 is less than 1, no, right. So, if I have given, okay, let me, con uh, 2 is less uh, that is again dollar hash less than or equal to 1. So, again 2 is less than 1, 2 is not less than 1. So, again this will not get executed. So, it will execute what? Value is not found that is the other else part will get executed. So, this is about your program. So, let me take here this operator if I change to equal to equal to 2. So, 2 is equal to 2? Yes, value is equal. So, this will get executed. So, this is how your simple else if statement sorry simple if construct uh, is going to be used for evaluation of a expression using a test operator. So, this is how it works. Okay. So, this is about your pg dot that is simple if construct how does it work by using a test operator. So, the other two forms of the test operator one is for check comparing the two string or a null string and one more is what comparing that off with a file checking the file attributes by using a test operator that will uh, uh, what uh, look in within the next session we will understand that within the or discuss those topics within the next session. Okay, Thank you all.